What do you know about anthroposophy and its relationship to fascism and the Third Reich? After all, Rudolf Steiner launched anthroposophy in the early 1900s when race science was popular, and he included a number of racial elements into his quasi-religious approach. There's considerable research on the historical connections between anthroposophy and fascism, looking especially at two of the movements that come out of anthroposophy, the Waldorf schools, and what we now call biodynamic agriculture. The picture is complex because some Nazis were anthroposophists themselves, most notably Rudolf Hess, while other Nazis sought to suppress the movement, including the Waldorf schools. Please join our Religious Studies Club at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, when we'll look at some of the writings of Peter Staudenmeier, a scholar from Marquette University who has studied this issue. I look forward to seeing you then.